glory to God as we come another day. As we are in troubled times in our world, in our island, in our parishes, and we are believing God to come through for His people. I declare today loudly to God's people expect to be healed there are signs of doomsday and the world is changing and it's declared that 666 are ready prime time we're still believing that it's a time to see the powerful hands of God their powerful threats you're hearing that there's going to be even famine on the land but according to the word of god in hebrews 4 16 let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy to find grace to help in the time of need and it's a time for us who are saints of god to come boldly come before him like with a face set like flint desirous that whatever it takes we will be healed delivered and set free the word of god declare in matthew 9 and verse 20 and behold a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the m the zitzin the talit the prior shawl if i need to be simplistic and touch the M of his garment. Hallelujah. She touched, she pushed through, encouraged herself, in spite of what the news media was saying, in spite of what she hears since morning, in spite of how it looks at the hospitals, and what the governments are saying. hallelujah and so the lord has impressed me to share with god's people the importance of putting a demand on the anointing the word the word demand means a seeking of state of being sought after it means pressing forward despite obstacles to get to the place where the anointing is and expecting it to fall on you the woman with the issue of blood hallelujah put a demand on the healing anointing and receive her miracle she expect that once she pushed through the crowd push past the disappointment of years a failed treatment of all what they've been trying the lock down the lock in the vaccines left right and center wherever they come from she decided to push past all of that and lift her belief system ultimately in one god who she know is able because she would have exhausted all parameters should have utilized everything they're given unto her go to various pharmacies and utilize all the prescriptions necessary by now her house would look like a pharmacy but still was not being healed delivered and set free all the man-made created mythologies would not be of use and should have spent every dime and was still in agony still in pain joint pains you name it it was all over her but she saw the side that i'm going to try someone else not another method but someone who she here heard of having a track record of bringing forth deliverance to the masses and everywhere he goes miraculous signs and wonders happen the lives will change people will turn around sickness and disease leprous men were healed blind see dumb speak deaf hear 
cripple walk. Ah, shiko ni nzanda rabaha. Shiko si rendele bahan tu kuria. And so, hallelujah. She expected that once she pushed through that crowd, pushed past disappointment of years of field treatment, and pushed against the stigma of being unclean, she would be healed. Push against what everybody else is saying. I'm coming to my place of deliverance. Too often God's people do not receive miracles and healing because they do not place a demand on the anointing. We're following what everybody else say and we are of another kingdom. We have something to resort to, saints of God. We don't have to play footsie or walk around being stupid. We got to hold a demand on the anointing power of a living God. Hallelujah. And come boldly before his throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace, hallelujah, in this time of need. Hallelujah. Too often, saints of God, we bow, we wimp, we cry like everybody else. But we need to push forward because, hallelujah, we are expecting the miraculous to happen. Sometimes believers let themselves get discouraged. Let me tell you this. Don't let the devil talk you out of your healing. Don't let the devil talk you out of what God already made provision for. Don't let a devil talk you out to dismiss your faith and believe in signs. Put your mind, hallelujah, and God, you have to press through discouragement and frustration so that you don't miss your miracle. Don't let anyone stop you. You have to press through. Press through traffic. Press through the parking lot. Press through people coming in the door. But don't get upset. Just stay in the spirit and get to the place where the anointing is and reach up and get your miracle. Just like the woman who pressed, reach, hallelujah, and was healed by touching Jesus coming. You do tell you can press reach up and grab your healing reach up and grab what belongs to you those in the hospital room lift your faith the word of god declares faith cometh by hearing the word and hearing the word of god and extending this word to a hearer hallelujah that you will hear and you will heal be healed and delivered hallelujah and set free according to james 5 16 confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the effective fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much glory to god hallelujah whatever thing that are in your heart wherever you feel that someone have offend you or you have offend anyone glory to god confess that sin and believe that god's going to come through you shall rise up in the hospital room you shall rise from that bedroom you shall rise from your place of sickness and testify the healing power of the majestic move of a living God, hallelujah. He's getting ready to prove himself, hallelujah, powerful and evidential in our lives today. You see, God healing is available to all. It's not that he, hallelujah, said, yeah, some ain't gonna get it. I believe in the book of Psalms 34, somewhere there, I look up, go over down verse 19, somewhere, the Bible declared, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord God shall deliver us out of them all. Hallelujah. He healeth our bones and remove all our disease. He's the type of God. Hallelujah. That's why David declared in the same psalm, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, glory to God. I said God's healing is available to all. Healing is available to all during the kingdom age. It is an amazing, hallelujah, that some Christians still believe that God put sickness on his people. Some may ask, God, why do you allow this sickness to come upon my body? They feel or may have been told by a church leader that it is the will of God for them to suffer sickness and not to be healed. However, 
that is not biblical god does not put sickness on his people jesus died so that he might be healed or we might be healed hallelujah i do believe that there may be times when god allows sickness especially for rebellion our disobedience like now where people have turned their backs and worshiping god created graven images and idolatry have invaded our line men and women have been bowing hallelujah to oil scandals are they wheeling and turning themselves and practicing the dark arts glory to god but god as soon as man come back to a place bowing on their knees they will see the evasion of healing and supernatural miraculous hallelujah intervention of the powerful living god evade our land and the hospital rooms will be empty glory of god and people will not be testifying of this pestilence but will be testifying of the power of a supernatural god hallelujah jesus died so that we might be healed how glory to god hallelujah and so we have to hold on on that and so a time because of uh, rebellion or disobedience but we need to understand but god's people hallelujah we can expect to live in health and be healed of all the disease hallelujah because of what jesus did on the cross his efficacious blood did not flow in vain hallelujah and there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from emmanuel of fame and sinners plunge beneath the flood lose all their guilty stain confess your trespasses today to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed glory to god could effective fervent cry of the righteous man avail it much hallelujah when jesus came he announced the coming of the kingdom of god in the kingdom of god we are hallelujah where his presence and glory dwell no sin or sickness can coexist let me say that again for somebody where his presence and glory dwells no sin no our sickness can coexist we are in the kingdom hallelujah of god now but it is not fully manifested however it can be established in your life and in your heart wherever jesus preached the message of the kingdom he healed people healing hallelujah accompanies the kingdom message this is the kingdom age we are men and women of god need to arise and declare this and we move from a passive pampas weak state and arise hallelujah with agility and power and still in an established a work and a move of this god let people understand that healing belongs to them deliverance belongs beyond medical science it's beyond a covid vaccine shot it's beyond the test and whatever they're putting out there this is a kingdom age saints of god but you don't have to be sick broke or run over by the devil that is good news to somebody you don't have to be sick broke poor or confused any longer sickness and disease are works of the devil and jesus came hallelujah to the same principalities and powers he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them colossians 2 15 saboshia nananakata hallelujah glory to god healing comes with the territory when you are in christ you can expect to be healed mark 16 17 to 18 says and these signs will follow those who believe in my name they shall cast out demons they will speak with new tongues they will take up serpents hallelujah oh glory to god and if they drink anything deadly it will no means hurt them they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover so not only should you expect to be healed but you should also know that you are to pass that healing on to all those around you that hallelujah that are true in the kingdom of god let wherever you go there's a chance of the anointing of healing upon your life that will break spell break yoke and reverse curse it's time for somebody to testify the word of god declares that in his presence there's fullness of joy and that is right and they are pledges forevermore anywhere you are child of god is his presence 
because you're a carrier of his presence you're a carrier of his power you're a carrier of healing you're a carrier of deliverance hallelujah glory to god i emphasize this day you're a carrier you're a carrier of not covid you're a carrier of miracle you're a kingdom citizen glory to god hallelujah signs and wonders shall follow you you see jesus heal all manner of sickness sickness and disease are the worst thing that can happen to an individual jesus care about people he cares about the things that makes the abundant life he paid for hallelujah he paid for miserable and unbearable that is why he had no problem breaking man-made religious laws and steel tradition to see to it that people were relieved hallelujah people were healed he had great compassion on the people who come to him to be healed in matthew 9 36 the bible says that when jesus saw the multitude he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd hey god almighty upon our land mm. jesus cared very deeply hallelujah that you are hurt people are sick people are on the floors in hospital people have no help and we are forced to be vaccinated he cares he cares he cares can somebody reach out to him can somebody reach out to him he loves every one of us and he want to do the best for us he want to change the situation one of am i talking to today can you lift your faith can you lift your faith hallelujah first john 5 14 said no this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us i say it again first john 5 14 hallelujah now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hear us and healing is his will she caught yamandi laba suku sheketa samanande kashola because he said in third john 2 beloved i wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in good health as thy soul prospered hallelujah and jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people matthew 9 verse 35 it's time to see a manifestation again of this god where people believe that he have gone distant from us uh -uh. he's right here he's a friend that's to get closer than a brother and he's a very pleasant help in time of trouble we are in troubled times and he's right here to help us glory to god hallelujah jesus he cares very deeply that you are hurting and suffering he doesn't want that hallelujah for you that is why he had hallelujah made a way for every sickness ailment illness dysfunction and disease to be healed and for you to be made whole when jesus walked on the earth there was nothing that jesus didn't heal when he left he sent the holy spirit who works in us to have the full extent of salvation that jesus paid for on the cross so just know that what was good for the people then is good for us now healing belongs to you man healing belongs to you sir healing belongs to you young people 
shikotondori ya kafaseta mama handa hikatoshi ya katonia he paid the price hallelujah so we can hallelujah have the full extent of salvation he paid hallelujah for on the cross so just know that what was good for the people then is good for you somebody let me emphasize god does not change hallelujah he does not change malachi 3 6 there is no shadow of turning with him james 1 17 because of god's fear fullness we can trust that if he healed then he will heal today matthew 4 23 said jesus went about all galilee teaching hallelujah as i said before in their synagogue preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kind of disease among the people there's an emphasis here jesus healed every disease every sickness what is called covid what i'd call chicken gonya what i'd call here fever whatever it is when man trusts god he steps in he heal every disease or sickness people come to him with no hallelujah with no expectation there was nothing too hard for him so don't let the devil or the doctors tell you that you have something that's incurable it might be incurable to them but it's not incurable to jesus christ hallelujah when he even had come they brought to him many who were the malaria demon possessed and he cast out the spirit with a word and he healed all who were sick matthew 8 16. hallelujah glory to god we need to have a confidence in this god what is this confidence is trust what is this trust is faith what is this faith is reliance and a god that you know definitely will come through everything else is experimented they said the fermentation of a vaccine take a couple of years now it's been given to us in months it has not been hallelujah officially state that it will heal or deliver anybody but we're still it's still imposed on us that is hallelujah it needs to be taken now they're forcing it to make it mandatory and their greatest stipulations that hurt too that we need to add her to and the policy makers sit behind their desk creating instruction and purposing to manipulate and to control the society what are we waiting for saints of god what are we waiting for are we understanding that healing belongs to us deliverance belongs to the body of christ i don't have time to be a god complex i have to be there debating how do you this is not a debate competition but i can rest assured knowing that god is able hallelujah and so those of us are practitioners of the word need to illustrate and demonstrate the anointing power of god that is able hallelujah to step in a nation hallelujah and to break the wicked operations of hell whether god declared first john 5 15 and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have the petition that we have asked him we need to petition we need to get back to sackcloth and ashes we need to hallelujah purpose in our heart that we're going to see a manifestation in this earth realm and in our island like never before from the verse saints of god matthew 8 16 as i try to close this up it doesn't appear that jesus told people it wasn't the will of god for them to be healed or that god wanted them to suffer he never said god wants you to carry this far a while to teach you something the prophet isaiah says that jesus bore our grief and sorrows isaiah 53 4 if i remember the scripture clearly it says he took our infirmities and sickness but causes so much grief and so much sorrow sickness and disease hallelujah 
when you are not healthy you can't enjoy the blessing and the fullness of god isaiah 53 is the redemptive chapter verse 5 talks about being healed by the stripe of jesus the bible said that jesus took 39 lashes on his back and body oh sha there is 39 major categories of sickness and disease every stripe that jesus endured to clear hallelujah the different sickness and disease upon this land my korea we need to understand as i said 53 for the clear this way surely our sickness he had borne on our pains he had carried them god doesn't even want people to be in pain millions of dollars are spent and pain relief hallelujah two takes headache neck pain ear aches giant pain back pain jesus delivers hallelujah you from pain pain is not the will of god for you hallelujah jesus died so you be healed from both sickness and pain how can we be healed one may ask the question God has a lot of ways to heal us, saints of God. Based upon the redemptive work of Christ. It is something Jesus paid for. Something he suffered for you. He, this, his desire for you is to be healed and walk in divine health. In the reason he went through so much pain and suffering. He was talking upon himself, hallelujah. Uh, he did take it upon himself. The pain and suffering of humanity therefore he has made healing available to you through many avenues they are healing hallelujah through the laying of hands luke 440 he didn't tell them it wasn't god's will for them to be healed everyone who came to jesus got healed no exception there's healing through deliverance matthew 8 16. demons can be the reason why people are sick in their bodies they may have a spirit of infirmity but that spirit can be cast out glory to god and we see a manifestation in luke chapter 8 2. healing through breaking curses Revelation 3.13 People are plagued with general demons of infirmity such as diabetes, high blood pressure, certain heart conditions and more. If there is a general curse that is activating sickness in our body, know that because Jesus had made a curse for us, you can tell the devil that he will not put this sickness on your body. Tell him, I don't care. If my mother, grandmother, grandfather, sister, or brother have this disease, the curse stop with me. It is broken. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break COVID. I break cancer. I break glaucoma. I break cataract. I break heart disease. We have to rise up in authority. Rise up in power. Rise up knowing that God has given you this. Hallelujah. You are not cursed. You are blessed. Your body is blessed. Bore in your body is a mark of the Holy Spirit. So sickness and disease are far from you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everything that is cancerous, treacherous, and mighty God. Hallelujah. And that is moving against you. Is cutting down to the end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Healing can come through the anointing power of God. Mark 6, 13. Anointing, I representing the Spirit of God. And the anointing, the anointing is what drives sickness and disease out of everybody's. The anointing, I breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. And bondage is the glory of God. Even Isaiah 10, 27 declares. Healing through faith. Mark eleven twenty three. 23. For some people, sickness is, is a mountain. It is always in their way. It seems like something hallelujah that they can't overcome but the word of god declare hallelujah 
If you got faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to your mountain, be thou removed. Hallelujah. And so you need to say it without doubt. You will speak to your mountain and it will move glory to God. So speak to that mountain of sickness. Don't climb, hallelujah. Don't climb it. You have to talk to the mountain. Lupus be removed. COVID be removed. And go back to the sea. Cancer be removed. Hallelujah. Heart disease be removed. Whatever you're suffering, go back to the pit of hell. This is why you have to be careful. Hallelujah. And to guard your heart. Don't hang around people who doubt. Keep your heart free from doubt and unbelief. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is going to come a time when you will have to speak to something every time the mountain gets in your way. Instead of turning around and running, you need to stand face to face and say, Be thou remover. Grow up in fear, saints of God. Open your mouth and talk to sickness. Say, I command the sickness to leave my body in the name of Jesus. Mark 11 23 says, Those things which he said, Hallelujah. This is not even about prayer. This is just peace some stuff hallelujah you have to just speak hallelujah. many people are praying but a lot of people are saying we need to start say to a mountain he shall have whatsoever he say glory to god hallelujah mark 11 23 i shall have whatsoever i say i'm cursing this thing glory to god hallelujah first chronicles 16 11 seek the lord and his strength seek his face evermore Encourage us today. Healing comes through the virtue. Have a touch. Mark 5, 29 to 30. Jesus' virtue can be in you. If you pray and fast, Luke 6, 19 says, The whole multitude sought to touch him, for power went out from him and healed them all. Worship is a way to reach out to touch the heart of God to worshipers know how to get in God's presence as you reach up hallelujah in pure worship you will be like the multitude in Jesus hallelujah in Jesus day for as many as touch hallelujah it were made perfect well mark Matthew 14 26 but the the hour comet and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father and in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him glory to god john 4 23 we need to understand that the hour have come the bible said that god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth healing can come hallelujah through the presence of god luke 5 17 the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Praise, hallelujah. And worship is there to invite God's presence in so that the people will be get healed. Hallelujah. It is not a warm up session or a warm up message is where you get endued in power enter into the presence of god and feel a manifestation hallelujah change things in your environment and your total being converge and there is power and sickness disappear. Hallelujah. Healing Shupa. All things include healing. James 5:16 says that we must confess our faults and pray for one another that we may be healed. Uh, sometimes healing doesn't come until you confess your faults and let somebody pray for you. Sometimes the key is humility. healing comes through the gift of healing first corinthians 12 9 or 28 when jesus left the earth he said that we sh would do greater works than he did he also said that he would send a helper to instruct us to guide us in these great hallelujah in these greater works the holy spirit come among men to indwell us giving us supernatural ability to carry out the works of christ he accomplishes this by endowing us with various gifts that all works together to bring people into relationship with god one of these gifts is the gift of healing the word of god declare but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one that 
one for the profit of all for for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit hallelujah to another faith by the name by the same spirit sorry to another gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirit to another different kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but one hallelujah and the same spirit work all these things distributing to each one individually as he will and god has appointed these in the church first apostle second prophet third teachers after them that miracles the gifts of healing help administration and varieties of tongues first corinthians 12 7 to 11 you can read for yourself healing can come through fasting hallelujah the word of god declared in psalm 42 one or two as a day pant after the waters so my soul pant after you O god my soul thirsts for god for the living god when shall i come hallelujah and appear before god as a dear pant for the water brooks so pant my soul for you in sackcloth and ashes oh god my soul thirsts for god hallelujah for the living god when shall i come and appear before god he healing through fasting when you fast in the way that god leads you he says hallelujah that your light shall break forth like the morning your healing shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you the glory of the lord shall be your rear guard according to this verse you will be healed when you fast but better yet fasting can serve as a, pre as a preventative medicine it says the lord shall be your rear guard in other words sickness can sneak up on you god got your back god got your back he have our back he have our back he have our back while everyone else is getting swine flu you're healthy while everyone while there's no cure for common cold or flu you sail through cold season covid season all the symptoms sniffle cough Miko Shandarabha Lebenderia Katsai Hushata. You name it, you'll come through. COVID, you'll come through. Delta, you'll come through. Hallelujah. With tears in my eyes this morning, I cry out on behalf of God, people. Because he said healing is in him. Can we resort to him? God is waiting for a sound from the earth realm. Where the people errol his name again to acknowledge him over a vaccine over what the prime minister a governmental figure says a minister of health whomever but we'll hear Marco greater than the international health fraternities whomever they are the WHMO the world health organization whatever they call themselves he said he's bigger he's greater hallelujah can we trust him said those that trust him shall be as mount zion and those who know me shall do great exploits he's god hallelujah mm. then saints of god if we trust him they are just those time saints when nothing else will do except a sacrifice of going without food a time to surrender your flesh to the spirit of god that brings life jesus talks about this in matthew 17 21 this kind does not go 
out except prayer and fasting healing can comes through the word psalms 107 and verse 20 the bible said that god sent his word to heal them and deliver them from all their destruction we also know that god words does not return unto him void it accomplishes everything that wish is sent isaiah 55 11. his word heal all their bones and cleanse all their disease if he spoke healing to you then you are healed jesus said that man would not live by bread alone but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of god that is why learning and meditating on the word of god is so important for your healing Declare that by the word of God, hallelujah, you shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord God, amen. Psalms 118, 17. Read the word, confess the word. Get healing scriptures. Trust God because his word will accomplish in you all that he intended. intended. Get healing scriptures. Pray them. Declare them, decree them, say them, chew them, eat them. Second Chronicles 7 14. If my people were called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will just heal Jamaica, United States, Canada, Africa the caribbean i'll just fix things up and let all the fraternities and the organizations and some of the news that we're hearing look like fish food let them look stupid with all their endeavors and their practices for years if my people i believe god is raising up an intercessory A network that is not too sophisticated but people that have lost their dignity to see God's deity people that is earnestly going after the things of God they do not have the dotting on the I and the crossing on the T they have no created platforms they have no clergy colors <laughs> not in their big churches nor their mosque do not have him wealth but they are anointed to pray they are anointed to seek god because those that have been recognized already somehow don't see it fit because they have become the god complex they have what they're supposed to have up to this gospel their planes their boats their cars their yachts their three-story buildings their businesses etc and so bowing down before God is primarily not important. They sit before their televisions getting fat, feeding on the news, and being convinced somehow that what they're saying, that's the way to go. Not remembering when things were rough, they were the ones on their knees. They were the ones praying, they were the ones seeking after God. 10 years, 15 years, 25 years ago, 30 years ago. They know God then, but hey. They believe in everything man say now. They become weak, cocky, pampas, lying, deceptious. Some form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Your nation is in crisis. Where are you? Can the same healing you talk about or the same healer be manifesting in your midst again? Can somebody in your congregation testify of them being healed? Some of us have moved from bishops or apostles to doctor. Doctor this, doctor that. Doctors behind her name, but the people are sick. 
Why are we doctors when we can't cure nothing? Why are we warriors when we do not war anything? Why are we victorious and we are victims? Why do we say we heal when among us they are sick? Big questions this afternoon. Can God people be delivered? Yes, they can. But can they hear without a preacher? The preacher is important. Because faith cometh by hearing the word and hearing the word of God. Somebody need a faith message or faith word. Something that will encourage them to move into a greater sphere, a greater gear, that to take access of what belongs to them. Hallelujah. Healing, as I try to wrap this up, can come through clothes or clothing. In Acts 19, 12, the healing anointing is transferable. It can be in clothing. It is tangible. We pray over prayer, over prayer cloth. In my church, I've seen people being healed through prayer cloth. Some people criticize me about the mechanism and the strategies of God to utilize healing. Paul healed with handkerchief. Hallelujah. I preach. I pray over cloth. I pray over handkerchief. I see people being delivered and set free. People still have kerchief that they tie around their head, still testifying a feeling wherever they feel pain over their body. Hallelujah. They still put it. God can still do it. Their testimonies all over the world. People, hallelujah, were seeing these signs in America. What happened to America? People seeing these signs in Africa, seeing these signs in Canada. Can somebody get back to a place that we pray over prayer cloths? We send these out, hallelujah, put them in, 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 in envelopes, post them to addresses. Glory to God. Believe somebody! Pray over somebody close that is in the hospital. Send it to them. Let them put that on and jump up energized. The sweat that's on you can bring somebody to a place of healing. Hallelujah. When people have high expectancy, glory to God, and high faith, God honors that faith. The Bible declares, and, and, and when the men of that place recognize him, they sent out into all that surrounding region brought hallelujah to him all who were sick and beg, hallelujah and begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment hallelujah and as many as touched hallelujah it, they were healed perfectly well matthew 14 25 and dear in my church and very dear in my very own self glory to god we should get to a place that people will hear a feeling and run from the hospital run come and things turn around i dare us to get to that place glory to god no god work on usual miracles by the hands of paul so that even the handkerchief of an alley uh, aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the disease left them and evil spirit went out of them acts 19 11 to 12. i cry today I cry today. I declare over the lives of God's people. By the stripe of Jesus, you're healed. He took your sickness. He carried your pain. And I believe it is his will in 2021 to bring you healing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse of infirmity. Sickness. And premature death of your body in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every sickness, COVID, cancer, blue coma, cataract, heart disease, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. And I command them to leave you now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I speak to diabetes, cancer heart attack stroke multiple sclerosis be removed and cast into the sea in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i speak to the heart kidney 
back, lungs, and liver problem. Be removed and cast into the sea in Jesus Christ's name. I speak to lupus and every other disease. COVID, Delta. I command you to leave the body of God's people in Jesus Christ's almighty name. Every hidden sickness, every hidden disease, I command you to leave our body in the name of Jesus Christ. Arthritis pain and rheumatoid arthritis. You must go in the name of Jesus. I command Melo Kashata. All pain to leave our body in Jesus Christ's name. Every condition leave today. Every condition leave today. I come against skin condition in Jesus Christ's almighty name. I speak to infections to come out of our bodies in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. I speak to breathing condition, asthma, hair fever, sinusitis, chest condition, and pneumonia to come out of our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against any condition and infirmities that affect us, Rabon Dosha. As a woman with lupus, fibroid, cysts, and tumors in their female organs, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command those tumors to die loose by the fire of God, burn to ashes in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I come against nervous condition, insomnia, and acid reflux. God is not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. I break heart and circular conditions, irregular heartbeat, vagina, and stroke must leave your body. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Be gone in Jesus' name. I speak to digestive disorder and allergies to certain food. You have no place in our body. You must go now in Jesus Christ's name. I break any and all addictions to pain pills in the name of Jesus. Corroded disc, slip disc, spine, back and neck problems. Be realigned and put back to place in the name of Jesus Christ. I release miracles of healing in our bodies in the name of Jesus. I believe God for miracles of healing in a life and friends and family and associates today in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you Lord for healing us and delivering us from all sickness and pain in Jesus Christ's name. I speak to every condition knowingly or unknowingly conscious or unconscious of to break your spell to the earth and release the children of God hallelujah I speak miracles healing sign wonders to be released in the hospital to release upon our nurses our doctors our homes our jobs our marriage in our churches Word of God I declare in Jeremiah 33 3 call and me call and me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things father show up today for those who hear this word show up and show off show up and release your people hallelujah he call on you and you will answer and show us great and mighty things which you which we know not of surprise us change what the news media say change what the government say and God 
give us a testimony has speak miracles i thank you lord that health and healing is coming now and people can testify of a move of your hand community dispatch angels oh god release your hands and let miracle comes and let people testify have your greatness and your power release west Malone. release anova release st james release trelawney st anne Hallelujah. Portland, St. Mary, St. Thomas, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew. Hallelujah. Spanish town, Mandeville, you name them. St. Elizabeth. God release your mighty anointing over this land. Set your people free. As I continue to pray, to do what I do best, and to do what I'm called to do, to seek the face of God according to Matthew 7:7. 7, 7. If I seek Him, I shall find Him. If I knock, the door shall be open. And if I ask, I shall receive. Father, I've been knocking. Father, I've been seeking. Father, I've been asking. Father, I've been knocking. Father, I've been seeking. I've been asking. Father, I've been asking. Father, I've been seeking. Father, I've been knocking. Let somebody testify through this pride, through this word, through this network that God, you have answered. I'm calling you according to the platform you've given to me over these last weeks Jeremiah 33 3 to call to you and you will answer and show me great and mighty things which I have no clue of I heard of it people testify about it but God you decide to prove it to me let it be so said that it is so done. Thus said you. Again, saints of God, one more day of laboring upon a mandate given to me. Reverend Cleon Mares from the Glory House Healing and Deliverance Ministries, right here in Jamaica in the parish of Westmoreland. A troubled parish. A lot's going on. A lot going on. And God called me to seek his face so i do so i hear it broadcast it send it to somebody else's phone let somebody else be delivered and set free don't be selfish now and it's even not time to be critical i may shout i may wheel i may turn it may sound extremely loud in your phone but let it error right around your community because god want to bring answers to you be blessed. Stay safe. Be healed and delivered and set free. And become a testimony in this time. Because God is depending on you. Bless you.